Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever. You focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Create new agreements based on respect and love. Take the responsibility to make new agreements with those you love. If an agreement doesn't work, change the agreement and create a new one. Use your imagination to explore all the possibilities. Knock it wise. Let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials finish up 70. NASDAQ up 36. S&P's up 8. Gold contract down $16.40, trading at $12.49 an ounce. Silver down $0.21, cents, $15.74 an ounce. They smacked that commodity market in a big way, folks. They smacked the metals. Uh, commodities uh, out here, the only commodity that we actually uh, trade in, uh, oil was up. Oil was up 1.7%. Uh, 1.1% uh, crude was, and the uh, heating oil was up 1.7. Other than that, you had natural gas down 4.7% uh, at 278. You had gold down 1.3 at 1249. Silver was off 1.2 at 1575. Uh, sugar was down 1% at $14.31 a pound. Uh, bottom line, big numbers inside the commodity market, and that was without the uh, dollar really moving higher, which is pretty amazing. Oil. Oil was up 64 cents, trading 56.59. You had the note and bond market lower. We had the 10-year note down six ticks, 124.12. 30-year bond down 24, 153.10. Now, both of those pull back with light volume. They still want higher price. Bottom line, king dollar. King dollar up 143 ticks, trading at 93.380. The euro is trading at 117 and three quarters to the U.S. dollar. The yen at 113 to the U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. Now, let's go to the world of the S&Ps and see what we have happening. So if we pull up the SPY, what you're going to see out here... You did 71 million shares, you're up 80 cents. Bottom line, 264.05, 265.15, no doubt can get hit. Uh, the low of the high, we're, we're just got to it, we're, we're in it. So bottom line is that uh, we'll see whether we get a rejection this tomorrow, end of the week tomorrow, Friday. Uh, the number to keep your eye on there is 264.08, and right now we're at 264.07, pretty wild. The NDX 100, same type of setup inside the NDX. Uh, the three Qs out here today went up 52 cents, 30, 31 million shares traded. Uh, the high of Tuesday uh, was uh, 154.55. Right now we're at 154.02. Uh, you, you're coming into some nasty down days. Uh, we'll still deal just uh, at this point with the high of the Tuesday and see whether it can handle it, which is uh, 54 cents higher than where we are right now. We, we take a look at the uh, small caps, the IWM. IWM out here did 26 million shares. Uh, that is coming into 29 million as well as 36 million. And what I'm not using uh, thus far, which you can use, but uh, bottom line is that I'm using the, I'm not using last Friday, because last Friday was one nasty day. And that's not the reason. It's just that if you can use, to be the most conservative, meaning that if you're using the largest one, then that makes sense that, yeah, it's going to have a harder time. If, you, if you're using the smallest one that you're going into, that means that it's showing the weakness that is on the counter trend bounce. That's what that is showing. We take a look at some of the higher volume stocks uh, in this market out here today inside the S&P. You had uh, GE can't get out of its way. That was up five cents at seventeen dollars and seventy-one cents. Micron Tech was up a buck sixty-two. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, Wells Fargo up seventy-nine cents, fifty-nine dollars and thirty-nine cents. Uh, Ma Bell was up six at 36.17. Uh, Citigroup down 46 at 74.98. Uh, Facebook up four bucks at 180. Freeport Mac Moran up 49 cents. Now it's interesting about uh, FCX. 
Uh, FCX caught a bid out here. Now, FCX, folks, uh, is, and this is where this gets intriguing, that this is one of the largest uh, copper miners uh, in the world. And then what they end up doing is that they end up buying um, a bunch of uh, uh, oil. Uh, but the bottom line is that, you know, copper got smoked, uh, but when you look at their numbers, they do $16 billion a year. When you look at their numbers, uh, out of that $16 billion, only $1.3 is in oil. So this move here inside Freeport Mac Moran uh, is saying to me that, uh, guess what, the copper, let's go over and take a look at copper, um, because copper came down fast and furious yesterday when China came out with their five-year plan. And if we take a look, where are you right now, copper? There she is. So copper, 296 a pound. That came down hard. HG1. Let me go into a continuous contract and see what we have. Okay, so pull this back. Okay, so, yeah, listen, man, copper can go to 282. But, you know, the way, let me look at SCCO and see how that's trading. That is the largest car. Yeah, it's the SCCO. This is pretty cool, man. So uh, Southern Copper was actually up six pennies. It rejected the lower part of the consolidation that it's been in. It's good. It's good. It's still a good-looking chart. So that is saying that uh, this is going to be uh, an event that is going to be over pretty quickly inside the copper market. We go take a look at the uh, high flyers out here. We had uh, Facebook. Uh, that is going for its highs once again. You had up four dollars, one eighty. The high out here is uh, one eighty four. The low of that high is one eighty two. We take a look at Google. Google also caught a bid out here. Google was up twelve bucks, one thousand thirty. Now Amazon didn't catch the bid. Uh, Amazon looks like it's uh, building more cars for lower price. Amazon was up seven dollars, eleven fifty nine. That's that looks to me like it's going to go test the breakout area, the top of the breakout area, which is a 11.05. Bitcoin, Bitcoin is going to start uh, trading on the Chicago Board of Option Exchange this coming Sunday night. By next Friday, a week from tomorrow, you're going to be in the CME, and Bitcoin had quite a day. Bitcoin had a low today of 13,329 and a high of 16,777. Yeah, you heard that right, 16,777. At this time, it's trading 15,799. We'll come right back, folks.